Hey y'all, hey! I guess everybody's been wondering what in the world am I gonna do with that lanyard that came in January 2019 um, Ivy Box and I've been thinking about it. I wanted to do a belt, but it is too short to do a belt. So I went to the next, next best thing that I use and that's a headband. I pop a headband on all the time. I actually had a headband on earlier, but I took it off for purposes of this video. So don't judge my hair. <laughs> it was, uh, I had chapter meeting this morning and after chapter meeting, I was done hair up for the rest of the evening. So anyway, these are the items that you are going to need for this video. Of course, you're going to need your lander, lanyard and I've already started. I'm going to just start calling this the ribbon. You need your ribbon. Um, ruler, if you're going to go by my measurements, everybody's head size is different. So it might be a little different. You're going to need a lighter. Of course, scissors. You will need some elastic. I just picked this up at Joann's. This is the Dritz um, half inch braided elastic. Don't forget when y'all go pick your stuff up at the craft stores to use coupons. This was 40% off, so it ended up being like a dollar something. Um, and then, of course, you're going to need your fabric tack. If you're a sewer, great. You can bust out your needle and thread on your sewing machine. I'm not about that life. So this is what I use. This is like liquid gold. A sewer actually, when I did the apron, mentioned this to me and I tried it and I love it over the um, heat and bond. So this is what I've been using ever since. And you'll need some kind of clips or clamps, uh, clothespins, just to kind of hold the ribbon in place while the glue is setting. And I think that's all. Um, after I get done with this first part, I'm gonna focus the camera more on the counter so y'all can see what I'm doing. So the first thing you wanna do is just cut your lanyard off of the, um, look, cut your ribbon off of the metal and I really just, right up until the point where it's like tacked on, I cut right above that and that was it. So after you have done that, you want to measure and see where your headband, you know, where it is. Some people, you may want your headband to stop here. I kind of did like, you know, back to here because most of the time when I wear a headband, I'll have my hair up um, in a bun or some messy type thing. So I kind of wanted to go back as far as I could. And the reason I chose to do the elastic is sometimes when I tie the ribbons on as my headbands, it doesn't do anything but slip off. So this is going to be a good DIY no slip headband. Um, so what you're going to want to do is figure out how far you want your, your uh, headband to come back. And this is how far mine is going. So I just measured that and just cut it off in the end. So that's the first part. And then I'll zoom in for the next part. All right, the first thing that we have to do with our ribbon is um, make sure it doesn't fray. This These ends do fray. I cut it in advance and they do. So you can either use the fray check that you can get at the store. I think maybe Beacon, maybe. I don't know who makes it. And then you put it on there and you let it dry. But a quicker way to do it to burn, I mean, to stop ribbon from fraying is just to use your lighter. It kind of fuses the, and melts the ends together. It's very, very simple. You don't want to, you know, hold it under there and light your ribbon on fire. You kind of want to light your lighter and just run it across the edge of the ribbon. So I'll do that now. Don't burn yourself. And you can kind of see um, when it's like melted together. And there that is. It kind of, This one turned black, but we're not going to see that part. If you're a sewer, if you want to, you know, tuck your ends in and sew it, that's great. I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay, so the next part, if you want to do that to both ends, I've already done that. After I've done that, I took a piece of elastic and attached one end. And I'm going to show you how to do that over here. And after I attached one end, I put the headband back on my head and wrapped it around and kind of figured out where I needed the elastic to go so it's a snug fit you want it to be snug that's the point of the elastic to keep it you know on your head and so I made a little I held it with my finger but when I got done I just let it go and made a little mark so oh well let me tell y'all too how long this uh piece of ribbon is 12 13 14 15 16 16 and a half inches is this ribbon and then my piece of elastic on here is six inches okay so in order to attach 
the elastic. We're gonna get our fabric tack. And let's see, don't forget, we want it to go around our head, so make sure you are gluing it the right way. So this is how we're gonna glue it, and let me do it, yes, this way. So here's my mark. I did it with a permanent marker. So I want it, you know, I need it to be right here. So I'm gonna cut off some elastic because I don't need that much. Let's see how much did I use on the other side. Let's let's be let's be precise. Almost precise. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my fabric tag and I'm gonna place it on the white. Y'all, I'm, I'm very heavy-handed when it comes to stuff, so I'm pretty sure you don't need to use that much, but I always do, just in case. And then I'm going to glue it down like that. I hope y'all can see what I did. Let's turn it this way. Down like that. I didn't bring the glue up enough. But I'm going to cut that because that's still too much for me. That'll be rubbing against my head and I'll be so irritated. Okay, so that's e that's the easy part. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to fold these sides over. So, you know, it'll look a little cleaner and it'll look like that. So I'm just gonna do the pink side first. And I'm putting glue on the actual ribbon and not the... Um, not the elastic so I can make sure everything is covered. And I'm gonna put it on the green side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and fold that around the elastic. And then this is where our little blinder clips come into play so we can hold it down. So I just put it on the edge. And then we're going to fold this other side down. Okay, just a second. I'm going to fold that side down. And we're going to put the binder clip on. And we want it to run it up the entire edge. Oh, I like the way I placed that one. Let's place that one down there like that. So we're going to let that set. It should look like that. So I'm gonna let this dry for, you know, it says it's supposed to dry, I guess an hour or two, but I don't ever wait that long. So as soon as it feels like it's dry, um, I undo it and mess with it. And then I will come back with it on my head and show you guys. Okay, so now our headband is done. I took the binder clips off. One thing I wanted to add to this was to make it a no slip headband. So I saw on YouTube University, <laughs> that people were using um, hot glue. And I tried it right here and it really is like no slip. Like I already got makeup on my band. So in order to do that, what you do is you do a little, you know, a little dot of hot glue and then you kind of use the, can't see that way. You use the um, edge to kind of like level it out and that makes it no slip. Oh my gosh. Genius. I'm going to do one more section on this side. Of no slip. Because I cannot stand when my headband slip off. Looking all cute. And then bloop. Your headband is not even on your head anymore. So I'm going to let that dry. And that's it you guys. Oh one more thing. I did try it on. And my elastic band was too long so it wasn't as tight on my head as I wanted it so I just went ahead and snipped it and put it back together using the fabric tack so this is big enough now to stretch over my head and then pull back up but I love everything about it and then that's like the no slip right here easy peasy